If you've ever been stuck between a rock and a hard place, this next story might be for you. Am I the asshole for telling my boss's wife about his affair and pretending it was a mistake? Hi, I'm Sarah, 33, and I work as an executive assistant at a mid-sized tech company. I've been with the company for about five years now, and I've always prided myself on being professional, competent, and loyal. My boss, Tom, 45, is the CEO. He's smart, ambitious, and has always treated me well. Professionally, that is. I've seen him make some questionable decisions in his personal life, but I've always stayed out of it. After all, it's none of my business what he does outside of work. Or so I thought. About six months ago, I started noticing some changes in Tom's behavior. He'd always been very focused at work, but suddenly he was sneaking out for long lunches, taking mysterious phone calls, and staying late at the office for no apparent reason. At first I chalked it up to the stress of the job, but then I noticed something else. Tom had started spending a lot more time with Rachel, 29, a marketing consultant we'd recently brought on board. Rachel is young, attractive, and very good at her job, but it became clear pretty quickly that their relationship wasn't strictly professional. I saw the way they looked at each other, the subtle touches, and the way they'd disappear together for hours at a time. It didn't take a genius to figure out what was going on. The thing is, Tom is married to Linda, 43, a lovely woman who I've met several times at company events. Linda is smart, kind, and completely devoted to Tom. They've been married for over 15 years and have two kids together. Knowing this made it really hard for me to ignore what I was seeing. I felt like I was complicit in Tom's affair just by knowing about it and not doing anything. But what could I do? I wasn't about to confront Tom. I mean, he's my boss. And telling Linda outright felt too extreme. But I couldn't just keep quiet either. It was eating me up inside, especially when Linda would stop by the office, all smiles, asking me how Tom was doing. I felt like I was lying to her every time I said, he's doing great. Then, about two months ago, I made a decision that I'm still not sure was the right one. I decided to tell Linda about the affair, but I wanted to make it seem like a mistake. I didn't want her to know that I had been sitting on this information for months. I figured if she found out by accident, it would somehow be easier for her to take, and it wouldn't seem like I was meddling in their marriage. So here's what I did. Tom had a big business trip coming up in New York, and Rachel was, of course, going with him. A few days before they were set to leave, I called Linda at home. I pretended I was trying to reach Tom, acting all flustered and hurried. I told her I needed to confirm his flight details because I hadn't heard back from Rachel yet about the hotel arrangements. I made it sound like I thought Linda already knew Rachel was going with him. Linda was silent for a moment, and then she asked, Who's Rachel? I could hear the confusion and suspicion in her voice, and I immediately felt guilty. But I stuck to my plan. I stammered and said something like, Oh, I'm sorry, I thought Tom mentioned it to you. Rachel is the consultant he's been working with. They're both going to New York for the conference. Linda didn't say much after that, just thanked me for the information and hung up. I knew I had dropped a bomb and now there was no going back. The fallout was worse than I expected. Tom came into the office the next day furious. He didn't yell or scream, he's not that kind of guy. But he pulled me into his office and closed the door. He asked me point blank if I had told Linda about Rachel. I tried to play dumb, saying I must have mentioned it by accident, but Tom wasn't buying it. He didn't fire me, but things were tense between us for weeks. He started keeping more of his personal stuff to himself and was noticeably colder towards me. As for Linda, well, I didn't hear from her again until a few weeks later. She called me, and this time she was the one who was flustered. She asked me outright if I knew about the affair, and if I had told her on purpose. I felt terrible, but I stuck to my story. I told her it was an honest mistake, 
that I thought she already knew Rachel was going with Tom. I think she knew I was lying, but she didn't press the issue. Not long after that, I heard through the office grapevine that Tom and Linda were having serious marital problems. He was staying at a hotel, and they were in couples counseling. I felt awful. I never wanted to ruin their marriage. I just couldn't keep the secret anymore. But now, I'm left wondering if I should have just kept my mouth shut. After all, what happens in their marriage is really none of my business, right? Tom eventually came back to work as if nothing happened, but I could tell things between him and Linda weren't the same. Rachel left the company a month after the trip, and we haven't heard from her since. I'm still at the same job, but the atmosphere has changed. Tom and I are cordial, but the trust we had is gone. And every time Linda's name comes up, I can't help but feel a pang of guilt. So, am I the asshole for telling my boss's wife about his affair and pretending it was a mistake? Should I have just kept quiet and let things play out on their own? Or was I right to let Linda know what was going on, even if it wasn't in the most honest way? I thought I was doing the right thing at the time, but now I'm not so sure.